All of us know the pain that you feel when a friend betrays you, talks about you behind your back, just hurts your feelings. It's a, it's a terrible pain. If you're raising an adolescent, they are experiencing that kind of relationship pain probably every day, maybe several times a day. Their friends are all adolescents too, so the emotions are gonna run high and there's gonna be lots of drama throughout the day for these kids. Then they come home and what do they do? They start yelling at you. You haven't done anything wrong. You've been trying to make their day a happy day, but you become the focus of their anger. You know, when that happens, try not to take it personally. When, when you know you're innocent, <laughs> just step back Try to calm the situation down. Don't have a discussion about it right then. Give them some room to cool down and you to cool down because now you've had your feelings hurt. And try to explore as much as they'll let you what's really going on underneath all this. They are frustrated about something. Something has upset them and they're just acting out. I'm not excusing bad behavior. I'm just saying that there's there's always a, a root to this. And these poor kids, I mean, their brains are confusing them. The emotional part of their brain is powerful right now. And the logical part is not fully developed. And so the emotional part definitely takes over. We have to guide them during these times. And we can't do that if we're reacting out of our own hurt feelings. So make sure that you check yourself first in those situations, realize that these kids are going through emotional relationships all day long and they just they just need to learn how to work with those feelings and understand better how to express them when we get hurt by our friends even as adults it is very painful for these kids I would guess the pain is many times more I'm dr. M with anatomy for kids